The first task with setting up Zactrack Mini is to set up our hardware. So let's get the fully charged master anchor and five smaller anchors and start hanging or mounting them all around your performance space. Remember the maximum tracking area for Mini is a 15 meter by 15 meter space. However, you'll still see tracking possible for a limited distance outside of that area. Most of the crucial Zactrack mounting and placement rules for anchors still apply with Mini. Keep them at least 50 centimeters away from walls, metal obstacles, floors, video walls, automated lighting fixtures, reflective surfaces, etc. Use magic arms and pipes to boom them away from obstructions and obstacles. Mount them with the Zactrack logo writing horizontally, not at right angles or tilted in any way. Don't mount them where any pipe or truss cord is directly blocking the front or rear of the antennae area. This is located where the yellow dot is. Remember, an anchor transmits in a 360 degree spherical way. As Mini is a 2D tracking system with the height or the Z axis data being added manually via the tablet or console, the height variations of the anchors that are crucial for our Zactrack Pro and Smart systems are not so crucial for the Mini system. So the anchors can go more or less on the same height. But of course you should maintain a good diversity of the anchors around your space in an X and a Y axis capacity. Once all system components are powered on, the next thing we need to do is connect our Android tablet to the system via the master anchor. Go to the Wi-Fi settings on your tablet, look for the Zactrack Mini Network and click to connect with it. Then enter the password. This is located on the label on the back of the master anchor. Within seconds, both will be connected and our Zactrack Mini Network is established. Next, on the tablet, go to the browser and enter the master anchor IP address. Again, this is located on the label on the back of the master anchor. Then you should see the web server page loaded. So click on tablet applications and then download and install both the Zactrack and Auto Functions applications. We'll learn Auto Functions in a later video. So for now, let's open the Zactrack app and we'll get started.